<laughs> a little while ago, I introduced Donald O'Connor as a grand old man. I'd now like to introduce a wonderful young Sprout, pioneer in the industry and a founder of the Academy. He produced some of the first great pictures and can't seem to break the habit because last year, he helped to bring to the screen the great Caruso. And so to present the award for the best production of 1951, Mr. Jesse L. Lasky. <laughs> You know, as I looked over the list of nominated pictures this afternoon, I was struck with one thing, the uniform excellence of these motion pictures. Now, as for my private preference, well, I'd be just as happy to see this contest end in a five-way tie. But obviously, fate must be more precise, and the envelope will contain no such happy resolution. The nominees for the best production of 1951 are an American in Paris, Metro Goldwyn Mayer, Decision Before Dawn, 20th Century Fox, A Place in the Sun, Paramount, Quo Vadis, Metro Goldwyn Mayer, and The Streetcar Named Desire, Charles K. Feldman Group Productions, Warner Brothers. The fatal envelope, please. Oh dear. The winner is an American in Paris, Metro Goldwyn Mayer. You heard the tumultuous shouts go up from the audience. Popular decision again. The American in Paris, the best motion picture of the year. The best picture in the 24th Annual Awards of the Academy for Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. And the award is to be accepted by Arthur Freed, who comes again to the podium. Thank you. And thank you for my brilliant associates who made this possible. Vincent Minnelli, Gene Kelly, and a great studio with real courage and leadership who supported me. Thank you. The picture American in Paris received seven other nominations that came off with the biggest plum yes, uh, of them all. There's only one more thing, ladies and gentlemen, before we close up shop for tonight. Mr. Holford, the envelope, please. It says here, there's no business like show business, and they're right. And now I leave you in the very capable hands of Johnny Green and his orchestra to dine and dance to your heart's content. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Danny Kay is leaving the stage as the orchestra begins to empty the house with There's No Business Like Show Business, and ain't it the truth? 3,000 people are edging toward the rear doors of the theater, half of them to celebrate with friends who won tonight, and the other half to say, as they do in Brooklyn, wait till next year. Either way, the 24th Academy Awards show is now part of the archives. This is Paul Douglas saying good night and thank you for sitting in with us.